Yes, lads, it's time for the big one. Welcome to 50 brand new features in FIFA 23. The best video to get all the information in one place as simple as possible. So sit back, relax, subscribe if you're new, and tell me down below in the comments what are you most looking forward to in FIFA 23. And let's go. And of course, for every single weekend, I'll be updating to you my Fantasy 5 team. Of course, if you guys haven't seen that, each week it's a fantasy football league where you guys can go and try to win £10,000 by correctly guessing five different players that you think will do really well the weekend. I got my own league as well, which link is down below at top of the description. So Chuck Mamadou is at top, by the way. I'm 12th place, and this is everyone that's in the league right now. So link is down below to go join in. I'll be updating you guys each week and how it goes. So if you guys don't know how this works, each game week, you got five separate matches, and each one, you're going to pick one player that you think would do really well. If you get all five correct, if they reach a points target, which is very similar point system to normal fantasy football games like FPL. And what happens is that if you reach a points target for all five, then you win £10,000. Simple as that. And there's also so many more other prizes as well, such as kit giveaways, if you're top of the leagues. There's so much to do. So, I will pick for all Sweet Leicester, I will pick Martinelli. A Bournemouth feels like a Riyad Mahrez type of team. I think he's got a low enough points target that I think I'm going to go for Mahrez. Man United, man. I mean, they really have to judge. I mean, I got a weird feeling that Rashford may score against them. Chelsea v Tottenham, got to be Harry Kane, man. Has to be Harry Kane. And Liverpool v Palace, I think it will be Luis Diaz. I think I back him to maybe do well. That's my selection for this week. And tell me down below if you guys have also done your selection too. So link is down below. Come and try to compete with me in my league. And if you guys are top of my leagues each month, I'll be doing some giveaways on my Twitch.tv as well. So I'll see you guys over there. And let's get into the video. So 50 brand new features for FIFA 23. Let's get straight into it. So number one, you can no longer delete your club in FIFA Ultimate Team. And the reason why this is big is because for such things as SBC accounts, you can't really do it in the same way anymore. But it's also a good thing because if you have a meltdown, you can't just delete your club because I know some people that just does that. Two will be next-gen versions of the game. So Xbox Series X, PS5, and also on PC, you'll be having 120 FPS, which is not what you usually get. It'll give you a lot more of a fluid experience. Number three will be alternative positions. You guys already know about this. This is a big one for FET and that each player will have their own individual um, alternative positions. So for example, in a mess, he could be a striker or a right winger. Number four will be Foot Mormons, a brand new game mode in FIFA 23 Ultimate Team, which is more um, leaning, I think, towards the more casual market. So it would be a game mode where you guys have specific challenges and that if you guys complete a challenge in a certain way, you guys will receive stars and with the stars, you could go and unlock packs. Number five, new pack animation. Um, sadly, there's no tunnel this year. Um, I was hoping that maybe there'd be a tunnel back because I do like a tunnel. I feel like it adds a lot more um, um, you know, it makes it a bit a lot more intense when you open a pack. Sadly, it's not a thing. New little gimmick, which is where the rating um, goes upwards, almost as if like it's a slot machine, which I think is kind of cute and um, suitable for FIFA. Number six will be the brand new chem system. You guys already know about this, a new star system as well. The new chem system is so hard to really explain that I, I can't really do it here. Otherwise, I'd be here for five minutes. But all in all, the different types of squads that you can build is going to be as diverse as ever. Number seven will be the Men's World Cup mode is of course confirmed for FIFA 23. We already knew this, but it was confirmed in the trailer. Number eight will be the Women's World Cup as well. That is also confirmed in the game. I don't know if this will have its own FUT. There'll be a lot more info about this um, later on down the line. So number nine will be the career mode features. Number one will be that it's faster with playable highlights that when you guys are playing career mode, go and just skim through and playable highlights where you will be given the highlights of the game and you can decide to jump in and make it impact in the game and then jump back out to make the experience feel a lot more faster. Number 10 is that you can play with any manager in the game. So this includes not just the Premier League guys, but like even like managers in like the Saudi Arabian leagues. Okay, there's 350 different managers that you guys can play in a game. Number 11 will be pro player. Career mode has got a lot more features. Dynamic moments is a big one. Cutscenes, I don't think these are really interactable cutscenes like the journey. However, it just adds a lot more to your experience. Number 12, something simple, but there's a lot more new save file options in FIFA 23. This is one that I think a lot of career mode guys really like because it's something simple, but it does make a big difference. Number 13, third kit and goalkeeper kit is now um, customizable in my 
create a club career mode. I don't know why this wasn't a thing last year already. 14 beam player personality on pro player career mode that you can pick three different types of personality traits, which each one has its own specific attributes that you could improve. Basically, if you want to highlight certain attributes with your personality, then you guys can do that as well. Number 15 would be investments in pro player career mode and also decisions. So you'll be having currency in the game where you guys can actually like do things with the currency that you get from your contract, so your salary, and you guys can go do things like invest in stock market, buy a car. Think of like jumpers for goalposts, but in FIFA now. Number 6 will be the new FUT HUD. So there is a new HUD for the game, which has been a long time coming. 17 will be the free kicks. I've had a reskin, so you got the XG and little stats all over the place. Alongside that for number 18, corners is much different. No, you got um, it kind of a bit of throwback to old FIFAs, where you actually had the perspective from the actual um, corner taker. Nine team would be that players on zero chemistry will have no negative stats so if they want zero chem they will play to their base stats number 20 would be in the new celebrations there's tons one of them being the main um hype one which is the gritty 21 will be new faces for a lot of players I've seen tons of new faces that are um, new, like reskin faces, like Mason Mount, Reese James, um, Lino Messi as well. There's tons that. 22 will be pro clubs, four brand new perks in your pro club system, which will have different impacts. So, um, 23 will be the fact that there's now skill games in pro clubs. So, it is an offline mode where you can improve your own pro clubs stats. And also, it has a um, leaderboard, which is with your team. So, you can go and compete with your team. 24 is cross play. Sadly, not in pro clubs for whatever reason, but it is on all 1v1 modes on FUT and also in really any 1v1 mode in the entire game. 25 is pro clubs back again. You can now get up to over 100 levels on pro clubs match day experience that you'll be getting um, a brand new animal noises for when you score a goal. I know this is very exciting for you guys, so when you score a goal, you can now hear a cat meowing. 27 is pre-match cinematics are much more detailed as ever which is actually a really cool feature and um, i think it's mainly for career mode but when it's like a derby day it gives you like cutscenes of the match that will happen ahead and it is really cool f28 is a new car design not really a feature feature that we didn't already know but this is what it looks like for the gold i still kind of wish they would go for something a bit more out there for the gold car designs it does feel quite samey 29 is that there is a new slow motion animation that when you score a goal is a replay which has the um, stats of your car the shot power the long shot stats and also the xg 30 is that this is a big one here which they've not really said there is now three minutes halves on fifa for sample squad battles this is huge dub by the way three minute halves on squad battle 31 is also a feature which they've not said anywhere but it is in the game and that is referee strictness feature but now you can have five different settings on the referee which is having like very lenient lenient normal strict and very strict 32 is gonna be first owner badges on your cards in fut i think this is a pretty cool feature 33 a big one here all the brand new fifa heroes there's a lot of them there's 20 all together for the cost for the world cup there's like world cup heroes and i think there's even more that we don't even know yet i'll give you a short back shit that we already know and that is like sort of diego forlan okotcha mascarano yaya tori potji sung ricardo cavallio there's so many more that marquisio there's so many more that we probably don't even know yet number 34 new icons are, have also been added to the game apparently such as xabi alonso um jarzinho a brazilian right winger uh muller vole zico uh batista and many more as well so there's a lot more icons a lot more heroes so really it is gonna be big for people that really are into that kind of market 35 some brand new features that's been removed or took away so such as women's super league is now in the games also brand new licensing juventus is now finally back in the game thank god for that so rip Pierre Calcio and Juventus with a stadium, kits, all that good stuff is now back in the game. 37 is going to be the World Cup nation. So every single nation which is not in the game right now will be put in the game as long as they're in the World Cup. But like Senegal, Ghana, Tunisia, Morocco, and also like Qatar, like Iran, like Saudi Arabia, all those types of teams that aren't in the game right now are back in the game, which is great. Number 38 will be the fact that there is now the five sub rule in the game. So for FUT, you can now basically change your entire team in, um, in the game. So, 5 sub rule is now available in the game. 39 is that there is a Marvel collaboration with FUT. I don't know how it works. It's the Foot Hero stuff. I don't know how it's going to work, but it is confirmed that there is a Marvel collaboration. 
We're going to see what they can do with that. I'm looking forward to see, like, a, a Hulk center back card sometime during the year. Number 40 is about crossplay and more into the global transfer market. Brand new feature, of course, alongside crossplay. And that this is specifically for every single console is in one market other than PC and Nintendo Switch. Number 41, a big one here that there's a license with Sky Sports and EA Sports for the start of the 22. 23 season. Number 42, we got female officials in the game as well, alongside women's career mode. Of course, make it more realistic and all up for it. Number 43 is realistic netting. Get in. The netting now waves like a net. Happy days. I'm so buzzing. Um, 44 being that there is the updated trainer feature. So if you're like a new person playing the game, which they can have a lot more help with a better updated feature that improves them playing the game. 45 actually, um, new camera new camera angles when you're playing in FIFA. Number 46 is that there's a um, new updated fan celebrations. There's also some more limbs as well. Apparently they move a lot more different now. Number 47 is that there's a brand new currency system for pro clubs as well. So when you guys play games and that you guys get uh, progression, you get coins that you can then go and use in Volta or pro clubs for customizable reasons as well. 48 is also high promotion. I probably should have saved this to the end, but high promotion 2.0. Apparently it's going to make it a lot more Different. We've heard this a lot of times, and it probably will, to be fair. So, look forward to that. Number 49, brand new skills in the game, such as a heal fig, heal to borrow, and stutter faint. And number 50 is a brand new acceleration type on all players. So, one's more explosive, one's more uh, heavier, but has a higher top speed. So, that is 50 brand new features in FIFA 23. Tell me down below in the comments what are you most looking forward to. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time for another video. Stay safe.